Okay, it's time to spin the wheel once again. Here we go. Let's see what we get, baby. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. All right. Um, hopefully this car will be a little bit easier to find than the uh, than the Pinnacle. All right, we're doing the Chrysler 300 knockoff here, the PMP. 600. Okay, Chief. I'm gonna be brutally honest with y'all. As much as this car is fast and handling is good, I really hate the looks of this car. 2007 Shyster PMP 600. All I wanna do is and uh, and drive away. All I wanna do is and. Uh, and drive away. You know, that seemed better in my head. Oh well. Thankfully, this car didn't take forever to find. I even made a dedicated save in case for some reason I didn't, I lost this car. As I stated earlier, while this car is a definite fan favorite among the GTA fans, I'm not really that crazy about this car, so I'm gonna bash it a little bit, and I actually kind of did in the video. Well, you can't see it, but I definitely did. The Seister PMP600 doesn't have any prior history in the series, and doesn't particularly look like any actual vehicle before GTA 4. However, it is very reminiscent of the first generation Chrysler 300, specifically the high performance SRT8 model. The 300 was offered with several engine options, a 2.7 and 3.5 liter V6, as well as a 5.7 and 6.1 liter Hemi V8, which produced around roughly 425 horsepower for the latter of the engines. Now, personally, that sounds like way too much for even a high-end luxury sedan. It's kind of funny now. I've seen all these videos about how about reliability issues with the old Hemis, and I'm assuming these Hemis were never meant for you know longevity. I guess. As for the European market, they were offered with a 3.0 liter turbo diesel V6, because of course they were. Why can't we get any good diesel options here in the states? Only a four-speed and five-speed automatic were offered. And while the only body style offered in the states was the four-door sedan, Europe and Australia were offered a five-door wagon. Now, after doing some research uh, and a couple quick glances, the wagon is essentially a slightly upgraded and redesigned Dodge Magnum. Still kind of funny, Europe always gets the uh, cooler stuff, even with American cars. Under the hood of the PMP is a much different story. We have what appears to be a dub overhead cam turbocharged inline four. However, badging on the advert and on the website Ar Auto Arata Car, <laughs> the PNP features an absurdly large 600 in cubic inch or 9.8 liter diesel semi quote unquote V8. This may be referring to the turbo diesel option the Europeans got. Not to say 9.8 is a big engine. But for a commercial passenger vehicle, it is, well, a bit much. Being a diesel, though, may explain the slow acceleration. According to the wiki, the PMP runs about 11 seconds to reach 60. The Hakumai is about half a second quicker, and it uses an egg beater four cylinder. <laughs> Despite its squat and ugly appearance, this hunk of steel and obesity handles pretty good. This may be due to the low ride height of the vehicle, firm suspension, and a lower profile, giving it a lower center of gravity. I can see why people like this car so much. It would have been cool if they had the wagon variant. Now, I, while it does handle fine, I just can't get used to the design. The Chrysler 300 itself looks like some kind of dollar store Rolls Royce Phantom, and this is no exception. They just stretched it out, squashed it, and there you have it. There is a specialized version of this car, which is typically driven by the Mafia, which Mafia 
probably the Italian one. I don't know. There's too many games in this game. <laughs> it features a lovely black paint job, a sporty mesh grill, and a little, little tiny baby spoiler. Aw, look at that thing. It doesn't have any performance options or enhancements, and it drives exactly the same as your normal PMP. Well, there you have it. I was brutal, I was honest, I was fair. I dislike the design of this car, as I dislike the Chrysler 300. It's gaudy, it's ugly, it reeks of excess and unoriginality, but just like the PMP, people like it. And if you like it, that's fine. This is just my opinion. It's an okay car. 4 out of 10 would blow up again. So there you have it, folks. Um, I, I, I really don't like the design of this car, or really the Chrysler 300, as I stated before. Even the newer generations, I just I don't really like it. Um, I do like the Dodge Magnum, though. I, I like the Dodge Magnum. I don't know why. The Magnum's okay. The Magnum and um, the, you know, older Dodge Chargers are, are okay for me. But the 300... Nah, I just can't get behind that one. I don't know. <sighs> I just don't like the design of it, I guess. I never really did. So, yeah, I know. You're probably all going to hate me because I hate that car. But uh, that's just my opinion. And, you know. You know. If you like it, I'm not going to hate you for it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's basically it for this review. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, probably because I don't like the 300, then uh, go ahead and just like the video. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, and uh, be sure to be on the lookout for more Echo Car Reviews Liberty City.